seven lights, thirteen darknesses. Master Xehanort has been busy. Ah! Ooh. Ah, oh, Sora. Don't tell me your heart's sleeping too. No, Mickey. This affliction is not the same. Can we do anything for him? Yeah. In your mark of mastery exam, you were to unlock seven sleeping keyholes. By doing so, you would awaken those worlds from their prison of slumber and also acquire the power to free a heart from its sleep. Riku, you unlocked those keyholes within Sora's dreams. Therefore, it stands to reason that you now have the power to awaken Sora's heart. You want him to dive back into Sora's sleep? But, Master, Sora's heart is down in the darkest abyss. If Riku's not careful, he might just get trapped down there with him. No, I'll go instead. And perhaps you may even succeed, Mickey. But there is no denying Riku stands the better chance, having dived into Sora's heart as long as he has. Hmm. Huh? No. Mickey, I really appreciate it, but I'll go wake Sora up. Riku! Look at his face, sleeping like nothing's wrong, like there's nothing to even worry about. He's always been like that. The three of us would agree to work on the raft, and then this guy would go take a nap on the beach. You see... It's my job to keep him on his toes. Besides, what kind of Keyblade Master sleeps through his test? I'm doing it for me too. Sora saved me once. And... I heard him call my name. He needs me. Hmm. There's something real strong that binds us to each other. Even in the darkness, you can reach him. All you gotta do is follow that connection. Gee, we're all connected to Sora. Yes, I went. And if the darkness gets you, I promise I'll bail you out. Dark Rescue's my middle name. Guys, thank you. Sora and I will be back soon.
this abyss. Am I in Sora's dream? Oh. What? I'll find you, Sora. Roxas? What is it that you're so afraid of? Huh? Hmm. Losing something that's important. Roxas? No. Wait. 
What is the one thing you care about more than anything else? Huh? Hmm. My close friends. What is going on? Huh? Sora! Riku, what do you wish? More questions. All right. I wish... to recover something important that I lost. What's this? You were not the visitor I expected. Oh. Diz! I mean, Ansem the Wise. What are you doing here? Perhaps I wanted to atone for events of the past, even if no apology can undo the harm I have wrought. I felt but I ought to leave at least something behind. So I digitized myself and my research and hid them within Sora. So this is... data? Yes. A clue, I hope, to finding yourselves or your lost friends in your hour of need. The heart has always been quick to grow. Each exposure to light, to the natural world, to other people, shapes this most malleable part inside of us. Nobodies are not different from us in that manner. Sora was the only one able to return to his human form without destroying his nobody. That is a statement to the love in his heart for other people and the bonds that tie them together. Perhaps he has the power to bring back the hearts and existences of those connected to him, to recreate people we thought were lost to us forever. Our most precious treasures even an empty puppet, the trees of the forest, and the petals on the wind. There are hearts around us everywhere we look. And it does not take superhuman powers to see them. Surely we remember as children the way our hearts made everything seem so shiny and perfect. Sora has a heart like that, uncorrupted, willing to see the good before the bad. When he sees the heart in something, it then becomes real. When a connection seems broken, he may have the power to mend it. He has touched countless hearts. He has accepted them, and he has saved them. And some of those hearts have never left him, whether they fell into darkness or were trapped there, whether they sleep in the darkness of Sora's heart or were welcomed into its warmth. They can be saved. All Sora needs to do is be himself and follow wherever it is that his heart takes him. It is the best and the only way. 
rest is in there. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Of course. Now, why is it that you are here? Uh... Uh... I kind of need to wake Sora up. Don't tell me he's gone to sleep again. Yeah. What'll I do with him? What, indeed? <laughs> <laughs> Never fear. Sora is safe. Huh? He's not here. You see, by defeating the nightmare imprisoning Sora, you freed him. Uh, you mean, the Sora wrapped in that black phantom? Then, you came here, and you were questioned by three young people. That was the final key to awaken him. Sora is awake. You can go home now. Really? Thank you. I do not believe you ever told me your name. Huh. It's Riku. Donald, come on, you're hogging it all. Ah, oh, calm down, Sora, and drink your tea. <laughs> of course, it sure is yummy. Hey! Riku! You're safe! Riku! <laughs> uh, wait, haven't we got this backwards? And why are you having a tea party? You're safe, Riku! Oh, never mind. You okay? Feeling all right? Yeah. I've never been better. I was watching what was going on in my dream. And I could hear your voice the whole time. Thanks, Riku. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did we pass the test? Hmm. You performed truly admirably, both of you. <laughs> More than anything, I am grateful to have you both back from Xehanort's deception unharmed. And I am grateful to Lee, whose spontaneous actions turn the tides. I am also deeply sorry for failing to perceive the danger and throwing you headlong into a perilous test. This experience has revealed many hidden truths. And we must gird ourselves for the great clash with darkness that lies before us. I believe we need a new Keyblade Master. One with a new kind of power. Sora and Riku, you both deserve the honor. However, one of you braved the realm of sleep again to unlock the final keyhole and save a friend. Riku, I name you our new, true Keyblade Master. <laughs> wow. 
Way to go, Riku! <laughs> you, yeah? <laughs> I knew you were gonna pass with flying colors! This is just so awesome! Gee, Sora, you're kinda acting like it's you that passed. Akron, you sure are still mimic some practice. Hey! Really? I'm a Keyblade Master? Congratulations, Riku! Thank you, Mickey. I owe it to my friends. <laughs> I'll catch up with you in no time flat. What? You want to be a Keyblade Master? Yeah. I mean, I came here to learn how to wield one. You? you? Hey, thanks for the vote of confidence. You know I was gonna come swooping in, Keyblade in hand. But I just couldn't get mine to materialize. Must be in the snap of the wrist or something.